Well, there was a mathematician at Cornell University in America who had tried for years to make a model of um, a hyperbolic plane. And eventually his wife, who was also a mathematician, Diana Taimina, said, I think I could make this out of crochet. And so she thought very carefully about how she would make the model and eventually ended up making a model like this. It's a demonstration that hyperbolic surfaces are made up of an infinite number of straight lines. And every one of these lines embroidered on the surface is actually a straight line. The other interesting thing about hyperbolic surfaces is that it expands exponentially from any one point. Uh, a lot of things in nature grow in this constant and unvarying increase um, model. For example, um, one of the ladies downstairs has made this beautiful piece of hyperbolic crochet which could easily be a nudibranch. A nudibranch is a sea slug. They have these beautiful wavy edges to them and that could very easily be a nudibranch from New Zealand waters. The formula for hyperbolic crochet is really quite simple. It's x equals n plus 1, where n is any number you choose. If you're starting with a chain, let's start with a chain of about 7. And you choose your number to be 3 you would do one, two, three, and an extra one in the third stitch. One, two, three, and an extra one in the third stitch, and one in that one. The important thing is that you mustn't vary that formula. If you choose three, then you must stick to three. You can't change it as you go along, otherwise it won't be hyperbolic. This shape is called a pseudosphere. This person has started right in the middle from maybe two or three crochets and worked out from the middle until it's become um, almost a ball. It starts with a straight line of chain and then every seven stitches I increased a stitch. I started with a chain, a five chain joined into a circle and into every stitch I'm adding a stitch and it makes a ruffle very quickly. I started with a chain of about 20 and I'm increasing the stitch every second stitch. This is the first stitch you do and then the second stitch I put two in the same chain. Well as far as I know this is the first time that hyperbolic crochet has been um, d done and put on display in New Zealand. This is almost exactly what you could see in a marine overhang somewhere like the Poor Knights Islands. Um, the same colours, the same kind of creatures. This is the first time that the hyperbolic crochet has been displayed on hyperbolic surfaces. These frames that we've had made are hyperbolic parabolas. All of these steel wires here are straight, they're not curved, but the way they're put together creates both a negative and a positive curvature and that is what makes it hyperbolic.